Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Grand Guilds. Last time we left off here because I just did this fight and it kicked my ass and I didn't feel like doing another one. So <laughs> this time we're going to do another one. It's actually the same day, but I took a little bit of a break, played a different game, etc. So I'm a little bit more fit to take on this challenge. I'm amazed that it's basically just the same three fights. I mean, the same fight as last time. Like, that's pretty crazy to me. But, uh, what can you do? Uh, so let's go ahead and just get her into the fray. Why not? If she can get that Bastion off next turn, that would be amazing. And, okay, so the only thing that moved around was this barricade. The barricade was right here before. So, hey, there is a difference. So, let's go ahead and get you some strength. And I'm going to save that flash step since we have found out that the reason that is useful is because you can actually ignore height restrictions with it. Because if I just moved with her normally, she couldn't just jump up this wall. But with flash step, she can. With the power of flash step. Uh, so, hmm. I honestly don't think there's anything I can do with you right now, Cadmus. So, you just chill. Maybe Avenging Shroud would be an even better thing to do next time. Yeah, there you are, you invisible asshole. I remember you. Don't worry. I got your number. He's actually visible, though, so I might get Ray to go in and assassinate him. Assassinate the assassin, as it were. She's gonna get beat up a lot this turn, though. Ow. Is she gonna die? Is that quickly? She might... Okay, that guy just buffed his armor. Good. <laughs> Uh, it still hurt, though. That stupid shield up ability, it only costs one. Gives them so much armor. Alright, well. Hmm. You need something to keep you alive. Can I get you in range to give you that? Of course not. Hmm. Alright, so we're... <clears throat> Let's let's move you over no here and way. just see the range on Bountiful Tide. Where can I so anywhere but the square you're currently sitting on. Good. Fantastic. So we're gonna have I'm to move good. you. And I think dropping Avenging Shroud is probably my best bet here. Just so when she does get beat up, she actually gets something out of it. Let's see, I could give her Armor. Stunning enemy doesn't seem super useful. Okay, so definitely want to Bountiful Tide her. And probably Water Refresh as well. I don't think that's going to make her live by any means, but it will help. Let's see, I could also get you into the fight with Magnum Fulger. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Provide some support to her. We're not going to attack that character, though. Let's attack the... Uh, Magnum, assassin yeah. character. Just to kind of get them uh, low on health, as it were. Let's see, if I keep Ray there... It would give them more targets, but we've already seen that the AI is pretty smart about attacking the target that's really weak already. So, I don't think we're going to do that, actually. Alright, and you don't have anything you could use. I mean, you could taunt somebody. Let's taunt you, I guess. Better than nothing, I suppose. Not sh really sure how this fight's gonna go. She's probably dead right now. At least uh, she's getting some work done with that. I don't think it's gonna change anything, though. Like, that Avenging Shroud did some work, but I think we still lose this. Yeah, this is just a hard fight. It's not its not any easier the second time. In case anyone was wondering. Um, let's see, could you... With an Energy Surge, you could. So... Yeah, we're gonna kill this guy. If we take out the, like, ranged characters... There's a chance. There is a chance, then. 
We just have to get her to like a safe position away from all these melee units and everything. So you can go ahead and drop down some damage too. Cannot yeah, why not? We need all the help we can get damage-wise right now, so... Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I could have moved you. That was... that was bad. I did that. I possibly just killed Cadmus for, like, 24 damage. Ow. Okay, he does have a lot of armor, at least. So he's got that going for him. I think Cadmus and Ray might be able to do it. Just with his heals and her obscene damage output. Okay, let's stun you so you're no longer a problem. And what is the range on your heal? That much. So if I flash step in... Let's see, I could kill someone here. I could actually... I could actually kill... No, I can't quite kill two people. Or wait, let's let's see. So will this properly work? No, that doesn't. So that doesn't actually have a chain effect. For some reason, I had in my head that that had a chain effect, but no, it does not. Um, <clears throat> I was gonna kill this enemy too, but it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to. So I think what I would rather do. We don't have enough action points to heal like that. Um, let's heal you. And I think what you're going to do is run away. And then we're going to energy surge when we get down here. Because that enemy would live with one health had I used Gap Thrust before. It was going to do 59 damage, so... Yeah. Ah, you can still see her. I was kind of hoping you couldn't. Oh well. Alright. Um, hmm. Well, Cadmus, let's go ahead and get you away from all of that business. Isn't over yet. We can heal you up. Wait, out of range. No, you're not. Just there you are. Cool. Just heal you a bit. So now you have a ton of cards to work with. Unfortunately, none of them are the cards that I need. Although you could kill that character. Oh yeah, no, you can totally kill that character. Hello. Oh, I didn't mean to redraw that, actually. Oh, well, it's it's fine, though. Goodbye. And this is going to do some more damage to you. I hope you enjoy that. Thank you. Cool. I think we're going to be able to do it first try this time. <laughs> Unless that character can reach her, I don't think they can. This guy can reach Cadmus, apparently, though. Don't immobilize him. Damn it. Oh, well. I was kind of hoping you wouldn't do that, but, uh, I could pull people to her. No, I think I just need to walk up and just stab this person in the back. Um, I might be able to save a Lux Barrage. I'm not sure that would do enough damage. I'm just going to, I'm just, I don't feel like doing the math right now, and I know the Lux Barrage will definitely go. kill, so we're just going to do that instead. All right, you. I'm gonna go ahead and drop this just so that this guy doesn't go attack Ray. Because she is in, like, death range currently. Hmm. Let's just do some piercing damage to you. Cadmus is not going to die to you, so I'm, I'm not worried about that. We can just wait until next turn and then finish this up. Ooh, big scary damage. Uh. He'll, let, let's actually let Ray come down here, and then we heal her up. So, yeah, let's run down. Let's do an opening jab, followed by a Lux Barrage. Boom. And let's Bounceful Tide you. And, you know what, that's not quite enough HP. Let's give you a bit more there. Full string waters. There we are. Cool, cool. Yeah, baby damage. 
Cadmus doesn't care. I kind of wish that Cadmus had more punch attacks, considering he, like, doesn't actually use anything, and he kind of has, like, a punching stance. I wish he had, like, some fist attacks. Raze does, but... I feel like Cadmus should, too. Like, what if he, like, put ice on his fist and then punch somebody with a block of ice? That'd, that'd be cool. That's such a... <laughs> that's such, like, a dumb anime thing to do, but it sounds cool, damn it. How would someone survive being punched in the face by an ice block? Too slow. All right. Hang in there. So Eliza got beat up pretty badly, but it's fine. Damn. So we're killing our own people here. I didn't realize you were so green to our guild, Skyla. It was a mistake for me to bring you along. It's safe to assume that the Dunbarian rebel leader is probably a member of Shadowvox. That means we aren't just fighting well-armed terrorists, we're up against professional assassins. Everyone, look sharp. I mean, are we sure it's really Shadow- You have the proof in your hands, get a grip already. You're fine with killing your own members, Raze? As I said earlier, this is how Shadow Vox operates, it's kill or be killed. The contract is what is most important, the moment you take one, you devote your life to it. Our kind is hired by all walks of life, so it is not uncommon to be put up against one another. It's that simple. It is not uncommon, I think. I don't remember if I said common or uncommon. What a horrible guild statement, killing your own friends. Your own Nakama. Nakama. Sounds typical for a bunch of assassins. Damn it. I love killing. I love the sound of blood splatter. I just don't like killing my own... I... I find it hard to uh, <laughs> decide with you on this, Skyla, since you're like... It's interesting that now in dialogue she finally gets some explanation for her in-combat battle quotes, because her in-combat battle quotes, like, she's like, Yes, blood, fill me with it, uh, blood splatter everywhere, I love killing, this is my favorite part. But we've never actually had that expressed in dialogue, but no, yeah, she's crazy. She's just a crazy homicidal maniac. So... The hell? Er, er, the hell? What kind of group did I end up joining with, man? You've always had a soft spot. Yeah, well, whatever. We got a job to do, let's go. You you call her just not wanting to kill people she knows a soft spot, but she's, like, happy to kill everyone else? Like, I can understand Ray's is the type of person that probably doesn't enjoy killing, but does it for the sake of the job, but she straight up enjoys it. Which is weird. Alright. So, eliminate all enemies. Those guys down there look like they're going to be a little useful, useless. At least we're not down in the pit this time. At least those guys are. I like this music right now. Well, yeah, I've heard this song before. I think it played during a boss fight or something? Moving. I want to say that was the context. So, let's go ahead and throw some Avenging Shroud on you. Yeah, I really like this song. This is one of my uh, favorites so far. What is the range on that? Not quite close enough for them to uh, get affected by it, unfortunately. Here I go. Yeah, I just really like the music Try. here. Some good stuff. All right, and that's all we can do for our first turn. Yeah, go ahead and attack Eliza, please. There you go, good person. Yeah, run away, like the coward you are. Shoot Eliza so she can reflect the bullet back at you. Damn it. Yeah, they're both just gonna shoot Cadmus, aren't they? Wow, did you really just walk right up to Ray? Just give yourself on a platter? Are you serious? Why would you do that? That's the most questionable decision I've ever seen. Okay, so we can go ahead and freeze both of you. No moving. That, that's weird. That, I don't think that's how that's supposed to happen, but it's supposed to just summon on the ground like right below your feet, and it doesn't account for terrain. So, it makes sense why it happened. Just a scratch. And we can go ahead and give you a card as well. Man, Bountiful Tide is so good. Okay, so Energy Surge. Opening Jab. And then Lux Barrage should be it for you. Bye. 
I think they have. Alright, so... What are you gonna do now? Oh, sounds like the garbage outside is being emptied if you hear any <laughs> loud noises. I explained this in like so many videos when it comes up, but... It's basically like a big garbage truck that comes, picks our dumpster up, and empties it. So... I'm right beside the dumpsters at my townhouse, so... Every, every other day, I have to hear that. Oh wow. I forgot that guy existed, I'm gonna be honest. He didn't kill Cadmus though, so it's not all is lost. Shield up. Shield up. And... Whoop. Screen was a little bit weird there. Okay, I can taunt those two. Yeah, mm, wait, I'm not quite in range. Damn it. Bastion has to be that much. Oh well. No, you know what? We, we need to go take out... No, we should focus the assassin first. The assassin definitely needs to come first. So you are now challenged. And I'm gonna slap you. My sword. Okay, so... Full drive. Or I could just do opening jab. No, let's do opening jab, gap thrust, and lightning stab. I think that I'll actually finish this enemy off. Yeah, definitely. And then we can let Cadmus focus on healing up. That is not out of range. There we go. Stabby stabby. And you can heal yourself up. And we could drop a Ice Barrage, but I don't see a point. Let's just heal you up some more. That way you'll get your Pacifist proc as well. Alright, what are you gonna do? I'm, I'm privy to your combat strategies now, so I don't have to worry about you as much, you jerks. Plus your, your melee units started on the bottom this time. They started down there in the pit and had to walk all the way up here. So they were effectively useless. How I, like how I was when this started last time. So there we go. They're all taunted. Uh, Cadmus is unfortunately in the way. I'm going. They're both taunted though, so we can kind of run up here. And yeah, this lets her get in too. So now we have that going for us. They're not going to attack her, and we can focus on this jerk. Actually, so I just attack both of them with this. Yeah, Ray's gonna finish them that uh, rifleman character next time. I mean, next turn. So it, we don't really need to focus damage with Cadmus on that character. We should be fine. Ow. That hurt. I think that's piercing damage, so... Yeah, that was that was pain. I think she's good, though. Yeah, she's good. Even if he had another attack, she was still good. Okay, so willpower. Honor's Blessing. And Lion's Pride. You're taunted again, sir. Okay. And you... I would appreciate it if you died now. So, a basic attack with Gap Thrust will finish you. Goodbye. Down you go. And what do we want to do with you? We might as well get some damage down on them now. And... Ooh, I should have healed her though. And I'm not quite in range. I thought he had enough range to do it, but he doesn't. Yeah, he can't select her. Alright, well... Just attack, I guess, Please. even though it's gonna do baby damage. Alright. In turn. Oop, I accidentally hit my mic. Yeah, I don't think they can quite finish her off. Well, no. If this guy attacks twice, then... Oh, okay, he's that attack, so never mind. <clears throat> Yeah, no, you can't finish her off. Cool, and she has this, so she can do big damage to you. And she can also gain some armor. Cool, cool. 
And... I mean, I guess increasing your strength is fine. I'm probably making so many mistakes in these battles, but... I'm never the one that, like, wants to be 100% or, or feels the need to be 100% efficient in these. Like, if I sat here worrying about if I made all the correct moves and everything, it would drive me crazy. Luckily, I don't think I'm ever going to be like that. Like, if someone's like, hey, don't forget about this, or... Uh, you could have done this instead. The you could have done this instead stuff is like, eh. But, like, if somebody's like, don't forget you have this ability, I'm like, yeah, yeah, no, I need to keep that in mind. So... Because uh, I remember when I played Bug Fables, that happened to me a lot. I would forget about some of the abilities my characters have that I could Cannot use. Lose. So I need to be reminded of that sometimes, because it was an incredibly long game. But, yeah. That's just my That's two cents on the whole thing. I don't really mind being, like, told, Oh, yeah, you could have done this instead, as long as the person isn't rude about it, and as long as it's not, like, all of the time. Because when it's, like, constant, you could have done this, you could have done this, you could have done this, it's like, eh. But, as long as it's kept to a minimum, and I'm not really someone that's going to, like, get angry with a person about it. I mean, because, you know, people will do what they do. It doesn't bother me that much. So, let's see. Water refresh. Magnum Folger, or we could just kill you now with Flex Barrage. There we go. I like to think I'm doing pretty good in this, though. I don't die very often. So. Bug Fables in particular, I think... I think the reason I messed up so much in Bug Fables is because I was playing that on hard. So. I had to be efficient. Alright, the cannons. They're finally freed from the hands of those, hands of those thugs. Man, we've been trying to do that for weeks. You guys are awesome. It's not over. If we want to keep the cannons unoccupied, we need to hit the leadership. Problem is, how do we even know where they are? If the leader is Shadowvox, then finding them is going to be impossible. No, it won't. Here, a lay ring. What can we do with that besides talk to them? You daft or what? My eye can see mana, active or inactive. Lay rings use lay lines, which are a source of active mana. You get where I'm coming from? Hey, hey, no need to get defensive. Yeah, I get it. I must admit, I am curious about this situation as well. Shadowvox prides itself for its exquisite taste and work. This is basically acting like a bandit leader. I see. I doubt they'd expect someone with an eye like yours to, track them, to trace them to their hideout. Yeah, hooray for me. Let's go. Now I want to see the Shadowvox leader for myself. The hell would Shadowvox be doing playing around with shitty rebels like these? I wonder what the rebels are rebels for. So we got Alpha Guard on Eliza, Alpha Guard on Raze, and Alpha Guard on Monaco. So that must be like a tank ability. So if we're going by this. So we have three tanks. We have Eliza, Raze, and Monaco. We have two DPS characters, or I guess three DPS characters with Ray, Paco, and Skyla. Well, no, they might not be separating them into specific classes like this because Monaco is a healing tank. Raze is like a magic damage tank, and Eliza is a physical damage tank, so... Eh. Alright, so... It was you. You're the one I would be using this on, at least. Alpha Guard. Take 30% less damage from enemies at full HP. That is one I have wanted for a very long time. So what would I get rid of for that? What is Reactive Guard? What does that one do again? Where is it? Alpha Guard. Am I just missing it? There's three. Three, 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 three. Oh, there it is. When Eliza lacks armor, any armor granting skills give 40% more armor. I think I would rather have Alpha Guard. That just seems more useful. And it gives better stats. Yeah, no. I'm, I'm gonna give Alpha Guard. Yeah, that just seems way more useful than just getting a little bit more armor, the like, when you don't have armor. Just taking 30% less damage from enemies at full HP is good. Alright. So that was a neat little ability to get on her. I like that. And it looks like we have some more side quests to follow up on, but... As I mentioned, I'm probably going to do those off-screen on my own time, so... 
I think we're going to end this episode off here, even though it's a little bit short. But we did we did complete a challenge and we saw a little bit of a cutscene and unlock some new things. So next time I will probably have done these just to level up some of our little side characters here. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Grand Guilds and I will see you next time. <laughs>